if opening your IDE gives you a blank mind, I've been there. I've released multiple games and helped students in that exact position. Here's how. The first thing I will tell you if you are in this exact position is to stop watching more tutorials. You're probably thinking right now that tutorials is like the best way out of this hole, but that's actually not the case. What you're in right now is what we call tutorial hell, which is where you overline tutorials for your main learning. And this all derives from a wrong belief about learning. Because right now you're confusing recognition from understanding. You feel like you're more productive than you actually are watching these tutorials, but you aren't actually understanding anything from the videos. The only thing you're doing is to actually recognize the thing, but not to understand it. In learning, there are two different types of actually learning something, and that's where we learn to recognize it, and that's where we learn and actually understand the thing. What tutorials is going to teach us is this one. It's going to teach us to recognize the thing, but it's not going to teach us to understand the thing and to actually use things in our own game to actually like be able to have it in our mind and be actually be able to use it. We actually need to understand the thing and not just recognize it. And obviously now you're asking, well, Kevin, how do we understand something instead of just recognize it? And let me tell you, that's by building instead of watching. I'm telling you, if you've just built instead of watch tutorials, you wouldn't have this issue of your mind being blank if you just open the ID. So let me tell you specifically how you're going to do that. If you've been stuck in tutorial hell, you've already like watched a few tutorials, you can probably like recognize a few lines of code. What I want you to do is immediately start experimenting with the knowledge that you already have. And now you might be thinking, well, I can't do anything. Okay, so if you open the ID and you can't even write a single line of code, it's going to be totally fine. Let me walk you through what you're going to do. What you're going to do if you can't write a single line of code is that you're going to like find something that you know is very easy. You're going to go on Google, find that line of code. And what I want you to do is going to just tweak things around that line of code. Just try to break, break it, tweak it and implement it in different ways. So for example, you might think of like a very, very simple system. Okay, sure. If you can't do a single thing, go on Google, copy the very simple system into your own code. But then it's very, very important that you actually go into that code and you try to tweak and break a lot of the things inside of that script. So for example, you might change the parameters on the um, force adding, like the raise your body dot add force. You change the parameters there. You try to change, change the like uh, key code on the button. You try to like do different things, you try to like make the jumping in the while loop. Just do stupid things that might not work. Just try different things and see the results. If you can't write a single line of code, this is the only way you're actually going to learn the basics. Because if tutorials worked, well, you won't have this issue at all. Like, you will probably watch like so many tutorials that you know for sure that you aren't going to remember anything from them either way. So why even continue? We can watch tutorials for like concept overviews in the future if you need them or like uh, other things, but it's not going to be like the best learning resource if you are a beginner. The best learning resource for beginners is going to be experiment and make prototypes, and it's not going to be watch the tools. And this exact problem of being stuck into tools and then actually starting to experiment, making your first prototype, making your first game. That's what I teach the students inside of Smart Indie how to do step by step, where they go from stuck into tools, can't do a single thing, to actually first making the first experiment, their first prototype planning the first game and actually releasing the first game. And I walk you through every single little detail that you need to know from going stuck into tutorial hell to actually releasing your first game. And this is teached by someone that has released multiple games, even on the App Store, Google Play. So if you want to be a part of Smart Indie, then it's the first link in the description. It's going to be the best investment that you can make. Also, when you're in this experimenting, like you're trying to break things and tweak different things, it's critical that you remember this one thing. It's very important. It's critical that you use as much of your internal knowledge as possible. So you want to use as much of the things that you already know as possible in your own code when you're breaking and tweaking the different things. Okay, so let's say you tweak this like jumping system. It's very important that you actually implement that into your next experiment. So the next experiment, you try to actually use the things that you like did before. You try to implement that jumping system that we did before. Try to implement the input system from the jumping system try to use as much of your internal knowledge as possible. At this stage, you want to treat this experimenting like an exam and you just want to like show the examinator all of your knowledge, like all the knowledge that you possibly can so that you can get a high grade. That's what you need to do here. You need to just use as much of your knowledge as possible. Try to show it off, act like it's an exam, 
and you just need to ex show off as much things as human possible. That's where you actually go from remembering something from the moment to actually having it in your internal knowledge in your brain. That's the only way it's going to be to actually use the things. So I'm not going to overwhelm you with more information. I think if you just start doing this, like experimenting, that you're going to be like very, very well off in your learning and you're going to start learning and like you're going to like feel immediately that you're actually going to understand the things that you're actually doing. And if you want the, like the best possible method to learn, like where I'll guide you from where you are right now, stuck in tunnels, making your first experiment, all the way through finishing and releasing your first game, then you can just smart in me and I'll give you the optimal learning methods. I'll walk you through everything, like all the mistakes that you can make in planning to making your first game, everything like leading up to finishing your first game, I'll cover everything and you'll join a growing community of indie developers just like in your exact position. So if that sounded interesting, click the first link below. Either way, thank you so much for watching this video.